Hi everybody, hi ho Silver here, coming to you from the bunker dudes deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest. In this video, uh, we'll just basically go through the process to sell precious metals to Provident Metals. Um, partly I did this for estate planning reasons. If you've got a decent sized stack and you want to make sure you're taking care of your heirs, one of the things you should do is set up a selling account for them and then uh, attach the uh, direct deposit to a checking or savings account that your spouse or heirs has access to without having to wait for a certificate of death or anything like that. Anyway, so that's what I did on this particular video. So there is a $1,000 minimum to sell to Provident. So I had a palladium one ounce bar, a uh, Pamp Suisse bar, pretty cool, that I bought uh, in the fall of 2016. And uh, I thought I got in too early and I did just a little bit, but you can see as the year went on, we just kind of kept making our way up. Just uh, at the beginning of June, we kind of spiked real nice and I decided I better take my profits now. So I sold that and a couple of other things. This is a recording of how I did that. If you would like to sell your precious metal, please press two. Please hold a moment. Provident, this is Erwin. Well, I'm actually recording this call. Is that okay? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, right. that's fine. Thank you. That's actually smart. I was calling to set up an account. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. Let's see. Have you bought from us before? Yes. Okay. That makes things a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and look up your account on the buying side, and then uh, it's a fairly easy process. We just transfer over the information here. Um, can I get your email that's on file? It's hi ho freaking silver at deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest dot com. Okay. Uh, what was your name again? Hi ho silver. Okay, you're all set up. And did you want to sell anything? I gave them the info on what I wanted to sell, and they gave me the price, and then they sent me an email. It should have your invoice and instructions on you know how to ship it and where to ship it to. And then once we receive it, it takes about one to three business days to process and then you can send out payment. And that's the last thing I'm gonna ask you is, how would you like to receive payment? The most popular option is the ACH, which is um, a direct deposit, uh, and it's free of charge. But if you would like um, a paper check, we can also do that. But that would be a $5 fee. And then we can also do a wire, which is a $20, $25 fee. I chose the direct deposit into one of Mrs. Silver's accounts so she can get access to it nice and fast, nice and easy. Now, I was gonna send this uh, USPS priority mail with signature, is that appropriate? Yeah, that's fine, okay. and then one of our guys downstairs will, will sign for it. Okay, that's how we'll do it then. All right, perfect. Okay, thanks bud, I appreciate your help. Yeah, no problem, you have a good one. All right, take care. So, I sent him the stuff, and about five days later, my wife had the money in her account. See you again, dudes.